Apple is expected to offer the Dynamic Island feature that made its debut on its current generation iPhone 14 Pro on all four iPhone 15 models. This feature is designed to make the best use of the space that was being wasted around the notch on the front that houses the true depth sensor. Dynamic Island can showcase notifications and can be used to manage music streaming, among other tasks, once apps add support for the feature. It was introduced with the iPhone 14 series, but was limited to the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max models. Mark Gurman suggests in the latest edition of his Power On newsletter that all four iPhone 15 series models will sport Apple's Dynamic Island. There will reportedly be no change in the screen sizes of these handsets from the current generation models. The iPhone 15 series will also come with a USB Type-C port in compliance with the EU common charger legislation. The Cupertino company is said to have also replaced the stainless steel frame with a titanium one on the Pro models. These phones are expected to be powered by a chipset that faster than the Apple A16 that powers the current generation Pro models. A recent report suggests that the purported Apple A17 chipset may use TSMC's 3 nanometers process for up to 35 more energy efficiency. Gurman claims that Apple has poured most of its resources into getting its mixed reality headset launch ready for a possible unveiling during the Worldwide Developers Conference WWDC in June. As a result, the software department is reportedly prioritizing the headset's own XROS operating system. Apple is believed to have several hardware and software kinks to work out on this headset. This reallocation of resources has reportedly cost iOS 17 a few new features as well, according to Gurman. Codenamed Dawn, this new operating system could now offer only a few major changes, iPad OS 17 and Mac OS 14 could also suffer the same fate.